Yeah, so Sean Atwood's channel. Get to it. Get to it, get it. <coughs> get to it, get it watched, get it shared, get it, yeah, get it supported. And, uh, this is your mass. I mean, it's a classic story. She... I've, only, I've only watched part two. I've not, you know, not had, I've not sat down and watched part one and gone into part two. But, you know, she's, she's a young lass, so they're getting on to, you know, these individuals have got her on to drugs and that. So she's, you know, she's just, she's, you know, I get you, there's that, oh, she's just a druggie. She's a, you know, that's, basically her all, you know, her all, you know, mental capacity is impaired. And all she thinks about is, you know, when she's in that thing, she was quite... Compass Mentis, what you know, while she's the bit I saw, but I think this is some time. I think this now is some time down the road from when you know when she's at the height of being in this this environment, and um, and also she's had no no help whatsoever, no help support back up her kiss me ass or out from authorities. So she's kind of because apparently she she approached Sean Atwood some time, I think something like a year ago, and he's he put. To her, he said, "Look, if you, you know, if you, if you come on my channel, there's, there's going to be dangers. There's going to be this. There's going to be that." And when she initially approached him, she was, she was still like, oh, "I don't know," but you know, things just didn't get any better for her. And it's kind of she's last, uh, last chance saloon. You know, she's got to the point where it's like, well, yeah, things aren't going to get any better. So this is something I have to do. Um, almost like, you know, nothing to lose now. And uh, it's frightening. And, but it, again, it's just secrets and lies and people don't want, you know, people don't want to accept, people do not and will not accept something that is outside of their, inf their sphere of experience, their, what they consider to be normal. You know, we can look through history all day long Every time you've got things happen, things have happened and people have turned a blind eye to it because they don't want, you know, they don't want to be part of that. Oh, they don't want to be part of it. They don't, they don't, they haven't got the time to combat it or, you know, a myriad of different reasons. And so they, they're just like, oh, well, it's not, it's not directly affecting me so I can ignore it. And to a to an extent, that's something you can you can sort of empathise with. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a, it's a, an absolutely horrific, shocking thing. So when they're confronted by somebody saying, "Oh, this is going on, that's going on," they do, they, just, they sort of just shut down. You know, and no matter what it is, you know, this instance, it's it's young kids. Well, in, to my knowledge, predominantly young girls. But I would imagine there's, there's a lot of little boys, and it probably extends down to children. I'd imagine in some circles. I mean, this young lass, um, she's she appears to be like at least you know mid to late teens. I don't, I don't know. I'd say I'm going to have to watch part one and two fully. But she's um, once she's a druggie, that's it. Don't matter. Don't matter a toss. She could she could have a cure for cancer, but she's a druggie. Fuck off, you know, nobody's interested. So that so that's why the traffickers do that. They get them on drugs and, and then <laughs> they've got it sorted. No problem. It's absolutely horrendous. But as I say, through history, this this kind of crap's gone on. nineteen uh, thirties Germany, the country was in a an absolute shit state. The inflation was you know, hyperinflation. Um and and this bloke came along and said, right, this is what we need to start doing, this is not really what You know, full on head banging loom. But at any other time in history, people are just like, fuck off now, bed. But people had had enough. So they just thought, yeah, let's let's vote for this maniac. <laughs> and then mid 40, well, not mid 40s, early 40s, you know, when they round him, round him Jews up to ship him off. Ship him off. You know, people didn't want to. They were they were in it then. They were in, you know. They they 
they'd got the party badge, they'd got the, you know, they'd signed up for it, they'd, you know, he'd got the country working kind of thing, so he'd actually done what he said he was going to do, you know, oh, well, fuck me, yeah. Uh, uh, and then, you know, 1945, 46, suddenly it's like, oh, fucking hell, what were we thinking? Oh, dear, oh, oh. But, you know, they got, they got there by the fact of, you know, sort of like turning a blind eye. Were they aware of it? Maybe, maybe not, but, you know, it's, it's, it's throughout history. It's how it goes on. That's how you keep secrets. You know, people, oh, it's not going on. It's fucking it. It's a little bit of bollocks. Yeah. Horrendous.